Lights out and we go green then, Nick McCosey gets the field underway ahead of Metal Gear 9493. Everybody trying to dart into the slipstream and get an advantage on their fellow competitors. Good start there from Emily Jones. She's up into third position, drawing alongside SR Bryan in fourth place. Look at the midfield as well, so action-packed, but where do you break down towards that second corner? Not there for Emily Jones, that's a bit too late. Into the back of Metal Gear 9493, and as a result of that, you can see she's picked up a one-second penalty following that contact, threading the eye of a needle, though, as they go through that Dunlop chicane coming down down in towards the next section of the lap. Nick McCosey holds on to his lead, but how long is he going to be able to hold on to that for? Because on that multi-on straight, that is where the slipstream is going to be very effective in these one-mate cars. Together a little bit around here because the toe is going to go back and forth. And if you're fighting so much, as I say, that fighting as Dan Holland sweeps around the outside of Cody there. Uh, that is a very assertive from uh, the Australian driver. Here's Emily Jones again. Still further down than we would like to, uh, she would like to be, I can say that for sure. In ninth position after starting from third, looking like maybe she's, maybe she's going to take eighth away from Amazing Hour here, coming up to the Dunlop chicane again. Starts up the inside, thank you very much, she says. I'll take that. Conclusion, there is Brian there, side of looking up the inside, coming towards Indianapolis, has touched back in again. Oh, I think maybe there might have been a... Yep, I thought there was a little bit of contact there. And Sire, oh, and oh, there they come no. back on, hits Emily Jones as well. Not a great rejoin there for Brian, but where's he going to go in that situation? An amazing hour takes back the place. And uh, yeah, that was all caused by Sidelock, who has picked up a one second penalty for that. So uh, it just happens sometimes. Sometimes you just misjudge the breaking zone, the guy in front gets fired off, and that's that. Yeah in the past as well. Just to remind you, this is round three. Look how deep Dan Holland was into the Porsche, into the Forge Cane, rather, I should say. And that is going to potentially compromise him through here as well. He looks like he's on the back foot here, a little bit raggedy compared to Cody Lukowski, who's a bit tidier, I think it's fair to say. Is that going to be crucial as we head onto the final lap? And Dan won't get another chance. That will probably be coming out of our knowledge at this point, but uh, uh, we'll see. That's just what, that's what I'm guessing so far. Oh, big. That's a big one, Nick. Oh, my God. Cody's picked up a one-second penalty. Must have been for trap limits because there was no contact there from what I saw. Oh, that's, a, that's a big, big deal there for Cody. That's going to pretty much put pay to his efforts here unless he can somehow get back onto the rear end of, of Dan Holland. But a second penalty round here is a big chunk of time, especially as the penalty zone is coming up right now. We're pulling alongside, you can just see in the background there, Dylan Lindgren still going side by side for this lead. Hard on the brakes we go in towards the first chicane then. Oh, that is very aggressive. A bit of a squeeze there, I think. Maybe a little bit of contact from Dan Holland on the side of Cody Lukowski. Coming into that penalty zone, though, this is where it's going to compromise. He's got a one and a half second penalty. It goes from bad to worse there for Cody Lukowski. Is that going to cost him the race win here on this final lap of the Toyota GR Supra GT Cup? It could potentially do so. Just um, is on board with Emily Jones. Also was, uh, oh, got... Uh, Wrecked by the penalty system there, made a bit of a, a lunge up towards Arnage, um, sorry, around the Mulsanne corner. Uh, I'm surprised that was within track limit. She went well outside the curb there, but made it stick. I don't think that uh, Brian saw it coming, but uh, a move's a move. And Emily goes up into seventh place. But it is going to be Dan Holland, Metal Gear 9493, who's coming through into the final series of corners then. What a great drive, kept his calm head under pressure and it has proven to be an inspired drive for the Toyota Super Driver. Round the final corner he comes now to take the win in round three of the Toyota GR Super GT Cup for the Oceana region. Over the timeline he comes, Dan Holland takes the win then. Is Nick Mikosi, Cody Lukowski? Yes, he is going to hold on to second position, and Iron Mars then will take third place. He got that ahead of Dylan Lindgren on the final lap.